Now the past perfect continuous tense is used to describe an action. That began at a certain moment in the past and going on at that time. For example, Miss Hannah had been studying there for five years when Ali came to the school. Note the above sentence. And the past perfect continuous tense is used to show an action. That began in the past and continued at that time. As all continuous tenses are progressive, this tense is also known as the past perfect progressive tense. Now, how to form the past perfect continuous tense? So, the past perfect continuous tense is formed by the use of had plus been plus present participle root plus ing, and for negative, we use had not plus been plus ing to the verb. Let's have a look over here. At that time, Sarah had been listening song for an hour. So, the negative version would be At that time, Sarah had not been listening song for an hour. Also, the interrogative version would be At that time, had Sarah been listening to a song for an hour? Let's differentiate between Have been or has been versus had been. The present form is Ali hopes the cab comes soon. They have been waiting for 40 minutes. So, the past form would be At last, the cab came. They had been waiting for 40 minutes. Remember, this tense is also used with phrases like all day, all morning, when, and so on. For instance, My brother went to the hospital last Friday. He hadn't been feeling good for some time. Also, remember that non continuous verbs like hate, want, no, and so on are not used in any continuous tenses. In such cases, we have to use past perfect. For example, Ali and Hannah were good friends. They had been knowing each other for several months. Note that the above given sentence is incorrect because no is a non continuous verb. The correct sentence would be Ali and Hannah were good friends. They had known each other for several months.